Our topic today is one that has been discussed at trade shows and panels and magazines and probably in a university bar near you. AI, and specifically AI in construction. If you've been a follower of the Avengers movies, you've seen what someone would call AI gone too far in Ultron. Of course, being a Marvel movie, there's also the good guy AI called Jarvis. Battle fought, AI versus AI, all very scary, but not real, at least not in 2019. Why is AI such a hot topic? Why is it turning the construction industry upside down? Or is it? In fact, what is AI? So many questions, and I have to say, so little time. And since the purpose of implementing AI is at least something resembling AI in today's understanding of the term, it is about saving time and effort, at least jump right into one of the most controversial aspects of AI. What is it? The most common answer is artificial intelligence. And in some industries, they take a slightly more pragmatic approach and use augmented intelligence. You know, computers helping people, not replacing them. Artificial intelligence can be a scary term, after all, if you let it. Since we are discussing AI and construction, let's turn to an industry expert, Rick Deans, Executive Vice President of Industry Business at Innate, to a supplier, you guessed it, who produces products that include AI. Rick, what do you consider AI to be? That's the first time that when dealing with a computer, dealing with information systems, that users are getting uh, feedback from the machine. And, and it's really truly a bi-directional, uh, bi-directional communication with the machine at this point. Rick, you're so right. Bi-directional communications like HAL 9000, talking to Dave and vice versa. Many people use different terms and not all agree we're in this life cycle of AI. Mind you, I'm not just talking about construction people. Everybody from Silicon software engineers to Detroit car engineers have a definition of AI that focuses on their industry, their application, their needs now and into the future. A wish list of sort with many items that are somewhat of the same regardless of where you work. As car companies design and test autonomous vehicles, which is one practical application of AI, construction companies are looking for reasonable ways to use what is available in AI. So far, a small percentage of construction-related companies are actually leveraging AI. Research firm McKinsey & Company did a study and determined as of 2018, construction was lagging behind 12 out of 12 industry segments in the adoption of AI. Like so many previous technology adoption timelines, construction is this wait and see industry. But with AI, getting a head start can prove to be the best choice. Best, once you figure out what you want to accomplish with AI and who has the best technology to do that. Finding the answer to a couple of questions can make the decision easier and hopefully better. First, what is the goal? And second, what do you think AI can do to help you in that area? As Rick says, It's important to, to look at it just as any other stack of technology. So let's understand how does it mesh with the business strategy? What sort of business processes is it going to support? And what sort of people do we have to get in the room to make that happen organizationally? It, it, it's got to be a combination of the technologists as well as the business folks uh, championing this. Ah, first, you have to do some analysis of your business and then an analysis of what AI is available. Sounds like work, right? In fact, making those analyses in one application of AI with the right sources of data, AI can make the job easier. Right, Rick? There's no shortage of data out there, um, but most of that data is frankly unstructured and it's in a variety of formats and we think AI could really uh, help to, to mine through some of that data and, and make it a little bit more normalized as well. But data can be hard to find. There is a major industry-wide problem implementing AI. Construction companies are notoriously slow in digitization. Newer companies start out with computers doing almost everything. 
but older established firms might have decades of paper in storage boxes instead of a black box computer. And AI, like so many other technologies, depends on digital data. It's the lifeblood of the computer. All that paper is the company's knowledge base, and it needs to be transformed into a digital base for AI to access it if you want all of the benefits. I think the next big advantage of AI is really to help in predictive analytics, so to be able to recognize patterns from the past and apply them. Uh, and I think the key there is to, to apply those patterns using some sort of contextual method or, or having some context associated with the data. But getting people to do all the technical work, the digitizing, the analysis can be daunting. People just don't want to take the chance that Hal will come back and take their jobs. Yeah, and a lot of it just comes down to human nature. I think there there is a tendency for people to be leery of the technology and, and the uh, the conception that uh, you know the machines are going to take over. Um, and but there's we that again that's why we really look at it as augmented intelligence versus artificial intelligence. We think the, the machines can, can help provide context and suggestions without necessarily doing the job of an experienced project pr professional. Now, if your company has all the data in a database, structured or not, AI can be a big help. It can pull out all the patterns, do all the analytics, and present you with some very valuable insights. The more data you can offer AI, the better the results. We've been looking at AI and construction from the inside, but there are also some applications outside in the field. Are you flying camera drones to do surveying or inspection? There are, in effect, collecting data, and that data can be used to map the job's progress, catch safety issues, and compare as built with the BIM files and models. More applications of AI. It's almost a sure thing that AI can help you do a job better. Get more business if you're a subcontractor, especially, and can help you keep OSHA away. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Construct Tech TV, fierce advocates for construction.